In the late 1990s, Ray Zahab was a heavy smoker and drinker who would sometimes eat McDonald's for every meal. But as he reached his early 30s, he was desperate to make a change. Ray wondered if he could be more like his brother, a successful long distance runner, but he knew long distance running was out of the question for a smoker. The obvious first step would be to quit, but he just couldn't. He tried and tried, but the cravings always pulled him back. And then Ray had an idea. He would use the turn of the century, New Year's Eve 1999, to quit once and for all. To him, that moment felt like a fresh start, like a reset switch for humanity, as he put it. So just before midnight on December 31st, Ray smoked his last cigarette. And this time, he quit for good. Three years later, he won the 100-mile Yukon Arctic Ultra, one of the world's most extreme endurance races. Ray's story demonstrates a phenomenon that behavioral scientists Heng Chen Dai, Jason Rees, and I have come to call the fresh start effect. It's the tendency for people to strive for change at moments that feel like new beginnings, such as New Year's, their birthday, or even the start of a new week. At these inflection points, people feel distanced from their past failures. They feel like a different person, someone with reason to be optimistic about the future. Our research bears this out. Undergraduates at a campus fitness center were more likely to visit the gym not only in January, but also earlier in the week, after a school holiday, at the beginning of a new semester, and after their birthdays, with the notable exception of 21st birthdays. And I'll let you ponder why that might be. Similarly, in January, on Mondays, and after holiday breaks, we documented an uptick in online goal setting and in Google searches for diet. In another study, my collaborators and I sent letters to thousands of university employees, urging them to start saving for retirement. In addition to the option to start saving immediately, we offered everyone the chance to start saving at a later date. For some, it was a fresh start date, after their next birthday or at the start of spring. Others were pointed to an arbitrary, equidistant future date or an upcoming holiday without fresh start connotations, like Valentine's Day. The power of the fresh start was impressive. The postcards that encouraged employees to begin saving after their next birthday or at the start of spring generated 20 to 30% more savings over the next eight months than the other more ordinary mailings. By reminding people of an upcoming fresh start, we were able to make the same opportunity for behavior change more appealing. Sometimes just getting started is a key barrier to change, but it doesn't have to be. If you're hoping to encourage behavior change in yourself or someone else, try kicking things off with a fresh start. This could be a calendar date or a meaningful life event, like a move to a new town. Or it could even be simpler, like finding a new gym or a new coffee shop to work in. These moments of disruption give the impression of a clean slate, relegate failures to the past, and boost optimism about the future.